well, it's definitely a beautiful day across the valley, but we are still on the little bit cooler side. The good news here is that temperatures are warming up and we will be a bit pleasant as we head into those afternoon hours. Right now, McAllen 60 degrees, Harlingen 64, Brownsville 71 degrees. We are seeing just a few clouds in certain locations, but other than that, uh, we are going to see those temperatures top out just to surpass the 70 degree mark by 3 p.m. And then on the way home, we're going to be dipping down back into the 60s and another chilly night expected with overnight lows dropping into the 40s, but if you are along our coastal areas, we are expecting those temps to remain in the 60s. The good news is that we're expecting lighter winds, a low rip current risk that surf temperature at 65, bay temp at 67 degrees. Not much going on across the state of Texas. We are definitely dealing with calm conditions. That high pressure system that was uh, over the south central U.S. is now moving off towards the east there, and we're just going to start seeing those winds uh, move out of the south, bring in that humidity and the return of those muggy conditions as we head into the next couple of days, but that's not going to last for long because we are expecting another cold front on the way for Thursday. We're not going to see a strong cold front like we saw within the past 48 hours, but we will see it keep those temperatures on the cooler side going into Thursday. And we actually could see a few coastal showers out of this as we head into the end of the week and that rain chance lasting at least throughout the weekend there with lows back into the 50s and 60s, highs in the 70s for Thursday and Friday, for Friday and Saturday rather, but other than that, we're just going to remain a bit cloudy as we head into the weekend with the 20% chance of some isolated coastal showers as we head into the start of next week. Also, weather models are showing another cold front that's going to keep those overnight lows uh, on the chilly side in the 50s and 40s there. So don't lose those jackets. Keep them handy because we are going to see those conditions be a bit on the chilly side as you make up in the morning hours there. More rain chances expected for next Monday with another front on the way. We could see a bit more scattered rain chances as we head into the start of next next week and therefore we're expecting those conditions to be a bit uh, mild to cool at least for the next few days. Of course, our average high temperature is supposed to be around 71 degrees there. But for today, expecting a high of about 73 in the upper valley, uh, lower valley up to 74. We could just remain in the low 70s for the most part across the area with south southeast winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then tonight, another chilly night on the way, but not as chilly as what we saw this morning. We will we are warming up in those overnight hours, so overnight lows dropping into the mid 50, 65 on South Padre Island, 48 in Rio Grande City. So we are going to wake up tomorrow morning feeling a bit on the cooler side as we head into the next few days. Look at your seven day forecast, expecting mostly sunny conditions for Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to be topping out at around 80 degrees for Wednesday. That's going to last through Thursday and then that cold front moving through Thursday afternoon. That's going to bring us a dose of cooler weather for Friday and Saturday. So expecting those lows to be on the chilly side as we head into the next few days. And then those coastal showers are expected through the weekend with a bit more cloud cover than our next strong front expected for next Monday. So keep those jackets handy because the morning hours are going to be fairly cool.